Good afternoon, you can buy smokers. I've been meaning to make this video a few days and I haven't had the chance. And uh, this is a follow up to Eric Blue Collar Piper's video on uh, custom built pipes. He felt that maybe he had some hand to play in uh, the price of the custom builds on eBay. And number one, I don't think that's the case. But having said that, something to consider. Custom built pipes back in the day were probably uh, an inexpensive pipe, which many pipes were back then. But I don't think there's really that many old pipes that have quite the following that Custom Build has. Now I know some people have, you know, collect uh, Dr. Gray bows, and you can still pick those up very reasonably for a vintage pipe. But, you know, if you had a table with a hundred pipes on it, if you just glanced over that table, more than likely, in a matter of seconds, you'd be able to pick out a custom build. And to me, that's the attraction of that pipe. The other thing that's kind of fascinating with a custom built pipe, at least in my view, is it's probably the one and the only pipes that nobody's ever really tried to duplicate. And I think the reason for that is, first of all, it's very hard to duplicate it because it all has to be hand done. And I know there's a lot of pipes handmade, but it would take a lot of effort to produce that same type of look that every there's no two alike, really. I mean, you, I, I've had several, you put them next to each other, there's subtle differences between this physical same size pipes as a custom build. So now having said all of that, let's say the true value of that custom built pipe based on value is $40. That would not be un unrealistic nowadays. So let's say I'm in an antique shop and I come across a pipe that is a custom built and I pay $25 to $40 for that pipe. Now it needs to be cleaned and sanitized. That's going to take at least an hour or two, depending on the shape it is, to really return it back to... And I'm not going to say, like, new condition, because there's two types of restorations for pipes. There's the restoration aspect that takes a real master, sort of pipe maker, pipe fixer, to really make that pipe look as if it's never been smoked. That level takes a lot longer and a lot more skill involved. So we're not gonna talk about that type of level. We're gonna talk about just a clean, nice looking, um, as close to maybe a pipe that's been smoked 50 times back in the day by whoever bought one. That's still going to take an hour or two of your time. And I mentioned this in uh, Eric the Blue Collar's comments. So let's take two hours for argument's sake. And let's say a reasonable rate, $15 an hour. So now you have another $30 tacked on to this 
$25 or $40 pipe. So let's take the number in the middle of the road, $30. 30 plus 30, you got $60 pipe. That you'd have to get at least that to break even. So if you put it on eBay, you, you would easily start that pipe and let's say $50, because you hope it's going to go up. And that pipe, I would say, it wouldn't be unrealistic to bring $100. Now, granted, he, Eric mentioned some pipes on eBay that are going for $175. And that's probably a little steep for a custom built. But... You know, if you really wanted one, and you don't want to go through the work of trying to restore it, and possibly ruining it. Now, I say ruining it because if anybody's ever used a buffer, things happen. Uh, the stem, for example, gets caught in the buffing wheel, and it goes flinging across the room and shatters in a million pieces. The same thing happens to a briar. If you're not careful, the wheel catches it and flings it across the room. And now you have a crack in the bowl or, you know, things go wrong. And also keep in mind is a lot of people don't have the necessary tools even restore the basic pipe and you also have a group that don't want to be bothered doing that and nothing wrong with that so for those type of people I don't think it's unfair to say that $100 or $125 is ridiculous for a custom built pipe if you really want one. now we take the extreme where you're know, Dunhill. Now just because the Dunhill name has a following, and those pipes always seem to be in the three to six hundred dollar and up range, I think there's a bigger argument to say that that pipe's really not worth it. I mean you could put a Dunhill on a table and among other similar shapes and unless you're a real connoisseur you probably would not be able to pick out the Dunhill right away but you would be able to pick out a custom built almost from across the room because it, it has that unique look now there are some K Woodies that have a similar type of rustification and but usually the K Woodies are a little smaller pipe. They don't seem to have been as chunky as a custom built pipe. So I think the price is really relative to the times. And furthermore, if you look on the custom on uh, eBay, most of them do sell. <laughs> Which means it's a su supply and demand. So I really wouldn't say that the guy is gouging if he can get that money. I mean, more power to you. If you can go, you think about the work it takes. Let's say you're not into flea markets and antique shops and garage sales. There's a lot of people, that's not their thing. But you took up a new hobby of pipe smoking, so now you have some interest in finding pipes, so you go out of your way to go to a flea market or an antique shop to look for these pipes. Well, now you're traveling, you got fuel involved, you have time. Then you have to buy this pipe, bring it home, restore it, and spend all that time. So really, if you put it all together, is $120 or more outrageous for that custom bill? In my opinion, the answer is really no. 
Not if you can get this pipe that you bid on on eBay, win it, and as soon as you get it, load up the bowl and smoke it. There's a big value there. Somebody's done all the legwork for you. Which has a big value in itself. So, anyway, that's the way I see it. What I would consider price gouging is like you'll see a Costello on eBay, and Mike at Briar Blues has brought this up. That that Costello is really only worth two fifty to three hundred, and they're trying to squeak out four fifty, five hundred using the Costello name as the reason behind the price. Um, and if you're not trained to know what pipes are worth, you get ripped off and buy a three hundred dollar Costello for four fifty. I think that eBayer has a worse. I'm justifying that than a guy that restored a custom bill and is trying to sell it for over a hundred dollars. Interesting subject as always, but um, something to think about. And you really have to put things in perspective. The times are in. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, you can buy a, a $60 Rossi and have a great smoky pipe. It's brand new. That smokes just as good as a custom built. But you know what? It's that it's not, still not a custom built. And if you want a custom built to be in your pipe collection, and I think if you do pi collect pipes, it should be in your pipe collection because nothing screams vintage pipe or codger than a custom built. It just has that mystique to it. That few pipes really have, if you think about it. As good as I think Savinelli's are, there's really no, nothing that stands out as exceptional, except you know most Savinelli's all smell good. But it's going to smoke just as good as a Big Ben or a Stanwell or a, any of those factory-made pipes. Now speaking of Savinelli, they have their mega line, which is very close, not in feel of a custom built. It's custom built-esque, I would say. It doesn't have that rustification as a custom built, but it does have that chunkiness and uh, that custom built like look from a distance. I have a mega pot that looks very custom built ish look and feel to it without the deep rustification. fascinates me, and, and it always ha will, is how they have pipes, $1,400, $2,000, that I really cannot see. Um, I 
I don't care what anybody tells me. I don't see how that pipe is worth that. I mean, some of them are absolutely gorgeous, no question about it, but I think that's a little ridiculous and uncalled for. But those two, somebody's buying them. Maybe not as many as a Savinelli, but somebody is buying them. So that's why I think Savinelli is a very smart company. They have it all. They have their unfinished series for really reasonable money. They have their Rossi line that's reasonable money. They have their Artisan line that's a step up. And they make all different levels, and they all smoke very well. That's really a company that gets it because they're providing a pipe for every budget. And every one of them smokes well. Even a Rossi. I have some Rossi's that smell, smoke excellent. So as always, interesting topic. I hope uh, leave your comments below. I'm interested to hear your opinion. Thank you, and I hope you have a good afternoon. Take care.